hi family welcome back again to my youtube channel if this is your first time seeing a tutorial from me i am jojo a hairstylist from accra ghana please subscribe to my channel and please turn on your notification bell so that each time i post you'll be updated these are the main tools we are going to be needing hair clamps the canvas head and then the tripod stand hair polisher and then a flat iron a thin flat iron and an adjustable wake up and then the trimmer and then we're going to be using spritz tea pins and then tara hair pieces and then a sewing machine for this we are going to be doing a pixie cut with a frontal but this time around i'm going to cut the ear tabs so it's going to either be a six by four or a seven by four. The reason why I'm cutting off the ear tabs is because usually um, when it doesn't sit well on the edges, the ear tabs will not lay flat and you might have to use glue to lay it flat. Okay, so I'm going to be using an adjustable wake up and a sewing machine but um usually the adjustable wake up is big at the occipital area or at the back from the occipital area to the nape side so i'm going to reduce the cup before i start laying down and stitching my tracks so i'm going to use a sewing machine now to hold about one to two inches depending on the size of the person's head so right now i'm reducing the wake up I'm stitching it to reduce it. Be sure not to make it too um, small because as you stitch, the cup is going to sh shrink. So if you hold it too much, by the time you are done, you wouldn't be able to wear the wake up. It might be too small for you. You need to cut off the excess net where you wouldn't be needing so that it doesn't look puffy at that side. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to be using Tara 24 piece and it's usually very light. So I prefer using that at the back. So this is what it looks like. So I'm going to start laying and stitching my first track. I make sure I start from the flap and then I saw about two tracks so that it can cover the nape area so that it doesn't become very short when you wear it so that's why i start stitching on this part and also i stitch about two tracks down there and i make sure i don't stitch on the holes that have been provided for adjusting the net so that's what i'm doing i make sure i, I sew over the ends of the tracks I go forward and I come back onto the track and then I sew through so that I don't have loose ends. If you don't do this, it's going to loosen after some time and then I'm not sure you'd like that. This is my third track and I make sure I don't stitch on the elastic band. If you stitch on the elastic band, it's going to shrink the net, which is going to make it difficult for you to wear. And as you can see, I'm not stitching on the holes that were provided for adjusting the net. Okay, so this is the outcome. So I'm using zigzag actually to sew the tracks down. I'm not using the straight line to stitch it, but this is zigzag. Okay, so I continue stitching and I make sure I don't stitch on the band. You see, and that um, thing has been provided for passing the elastic band through it to be able to adjust at the back so i make sure i don't sew on that one too so i keep stitching and then i make sure the back is closed i don't leave so much space but if you are not sure about the spacing you can mark it with a you can mark the net with a marker that will help you know the exact place you would like to stitch your tracks on so I'm repeating the same thing over and over again. And since it's a pixie cut, I'm sewing my tracks very close because I wouldn't want the situation whereby one side will be empty and look um, flat. 
I wouldn't want that. So I keep my tracks closed. But as I get to the occipital area, I make sure I double my tracks and I sew them closely. I usually don't even leave spaces at the occipital area so that I can have that um, bump at the back or that rounded look at the occipital area. As you stitch, you must make sure that the net is lying flat on the sewing machine. Make sure it's not folded and don't stretch it. When you stretch it, the net is going to become bigger and it's going to have bumps. It wouldn't be smooth when you place your hand or you rub your hands on the wake up. So you need to make sure that it's just straightened out. Make sure the net is straightened out as you continue to stitch your tracks onto the net. And if you don't also straighten it out, the net is likely to shrink and you wouldn't get the exact size you measured. I'm still going over the ends of the tracks to keep it in place. And when I'm done, I actually sew over the closure with the sewing machine to keep it firm. I'm cutting the excess net off. So this is what it looks like. At this point, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please do so and please turn on your notification bell so that each time I post, you can see the updates. The wig is done and this is it. I've placed it on a mannequin and I'm going to be cutting it. I'm going to use a trimmer and blade to cut this hair. So guys, this is it. So I'm using a trimmer and then there's a blade in it. So that's what I'm using. But as I cut or I trim the hair, I hold the hair as I cut so that I don't make a mistake by cutting it deeper than I should. So I cut through, I keep cutting, 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 cutting. But when I get to the top, I don't cut much. That's the occipital area. I don't cut much so that um, I can have that rounded look I want to achieve. So this is it. So I'm using water to control the hair and to keep it flat. So it's just water I use in a spray bottle and then I'm combing it through. So I'm using a bit of hair polish just to give it a bit of shine. And then I let it dry out before I start tonguing it. This is the curler I use for tonguing my pixie cuts. It can give you really good curls when tonguing sh very short hairs. So um, I got this from Jaslyn Hair Tools GH. She's in Ghana. So I bought it from her and that's what I've been using to tongue my pixie cuts. It's very good. You can look her up on Instagram. So I tongue track by track just to make sure that I'm getting access to all the tracks okay so and this curler is able to heat to about 280 degrees i'm still using my trimmer to trim the excess of the hair so i make sure the nip area is not bulky i make sure it's as light as possible so that i can achieve the look that i'm looking for so this is the frontal area. I'm tonguing it with a normal tonguing machine, the bigger size. Pixie cuts really take a long time, so it requires a lot of patience. And with this Kerala, it heats up to 230 degrees, which is enough to enough heat to be able to tongue my hair to get a desired look. As you tongue, it's okay to cut off the excess hair that you don't need. So I'm still using my trimmer to cut off the excess. You can use a trimmer or scissors. But you need to be very careful you don't cut more than you need to i'm done tonguing the hair so i'm going to style it 
so i'll be using my hot comb so i make sure it heats up really well so that i can lay the areas that i want to be flat down you need to be careful with the hot comb so that it does not bend the net make sure you don't place the hot comb on the net for a long time if not it's going to bend off the net so i'm using the hot comb to lay the hair down flat or the areas that i need to be flat as you're laying it you can decide to use wax or the wax stick to lay the frontal flat but you need to apply a little of the wax not so much okay so i'm through with the pixie so there's the outcome this is what it looks like so you're not going to have any issues with ear taps when you wear the pixie you're just still going to have the frontal effects especially where you want to pat it you can pat it anywhere that you want to pat it to but um the closure or the frontal is now from eyebrow to eyebrow so it's enough for you to style it as desired it is okay not to have ear tabs because um you wouldn't be needing it to pat or make a pattern in the closure so it's okay for that side not to be there so you can style this pixie cut by using a wide tooth comb or you can run your fingers through it i'm cutting off the excess knit i already plugged the frontal and tinted it before i stitched it but unfortunately i was unable to capture that so we missed that part but i'm going to be making a video on how to pluck and then tint your frontal so this is the outcome this is what it looks like i'm just applying a bit of holding spray to give it a hold thanks so much guys for watching this video to the very end please like this video and please subscribe to my channel and please turn on your notification bell so that each time i post you'll be notified thanks so much guys hoping to bring you more from jojo's place I'm going to leave my info, my email address, and my Instagram handle and Facebook handle in the description section. So please feel free to contact me and ask all the questions you'd like to ask me. I'll be glad to assist. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Thank you. Thanks, guys.